What if you were injured on the job to, a, to an extent that you can't even drive, or because workers' comp pays so little, you're unable to keep your car, you don't have a way to get to the doctor, how are you supposed to get treatment and what should you look out for in this situation? Hi, I'm Kevin Runlet with Runlet Law Firm, helping injured workers throughout the state of Mississippi. Um, hope these videos are helpful. If you like them, please like them, subscribe, give us some comments below. We're happy to help in any way we can. So this situation arises all the time in workers' comp where people cannot get to the doctor because they do not have transportation. So the normal way we handle this is we would contact the uh, defense, the insurance company or the defense attorney if there's one on the case, and we would tell them what the situation is, get transportation arranged. There are companies that they contract with that will actually come to your house, pick you up, and take you to the doctor. And that's a good thing, but there's, there's a few things you need to be careful of. These drivers sometimes are interviewed by the insurance company or by the defense attorneys after they transport you because you may have said something to them that can help their case. So be very cautious in talking to these drivers. I'm not saying be rude to them, but be careful what you divulge. Don't be an open book about everything going on. Sometimes it's better just to keep your mouth shut, get to the doctor, get your treatment, and come back. Um, it's, a, it's a real concern. So I hope this helps. Hope you have a great day, and thank you for watching.